Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some night therapy, and today I have another unboxing for y'all coming from GP, GP Knives, uh, one of my favorite dealers to deal with, them, DLT, Knife Center, and there's a bunch more too, Indiana Knives, well, they had a knife, they had a few that I liked, but this one just stuck out to me. I'm using the Axial Gear uh, Shift in 20CV out the front. If you hadn't seen this review, definitely go check it out. Pretty cool. Oh, yes, tactical peanuts. Hold on, peeps. I don't want to make a huge mess. Uh, yeah, that would have made a really big mess. Okay, so we have... We have a boker. I haven't bought a boker in a while. I bought that out the front. That was garbage. Uh, always get some cool swag from GP Knives. Tyler here with GP Knives. Um, I stopped buying boker because, man, it's just such hit and miss. But a subscriber mentioned the other day that they they bought a few recently and it seems like they stepped up their their quality control and we'll see now this is a boker plus you know their cheaper line this isn't made in germany this i think it's made in china um <laughs> i like the look of this one let's see i asked them to check this at gp knives it looks like they probably did by just the way that looks so it comes in this uh like kind of like what a traditional comes in so this right here is the Boker Plus Golem. I'm pretty sure uh, Berg's Blades has a Golem. I think the larger Slim's called the Golem, or the custom at least. Let me, hold on. So what we got here is uh, some black honeycomb G10. That looks cool. Gives you some texture and you got some texture all right there. Hopefully that doesn't cause any uh, hot spots when using, we'll see. Got a pivot collar and a decorative pivot. Looks nice. Ooh, I love how they, this flipper tab set up where it's curved like that. I don't care how big it is. It doesn't really bother me. Let's get a flip. Ooh, nice. Now, when I first saw this, I thought this might have been a collaboration with Winkler Knives because this looks a lot like one of his models. Uh, he had a folder that he did a, a long time ago that from what i can recall it looked a lot like this one if i remember i'll put a picture up here or something of the, the knife i'm talking about but definitely has that winkler vibe let's see feels pretty good in hand you got like an acid washed stone washed blade i like that look feels pretty good behind the edge i uh, love that long swedge like that uh pocket clip eh it's okay it's not it's not my favorite but they do have countersunk screws and i love the fact that they had they milled out a spot to put the clip into because it's almost pointless whenever some companies have a countersunk hole on the clip but then the clip sits above the g10 you also have inset liners that's cool oh let's see let me see if i can Shine some light on that. Ooh, it's a little too bright. But as you can see, you have a liner that skeletonizes the bottom, and then the top is just straight G10. Love it. Because G10 is very rigid, unlike my Corda. This is on bearings. Let's see how that action is. Ooh, yeah. Very nice. Nice action. So far, so good. Now, it, it wasn't just their, you know, their fit and finish that I had issues with. I had... Let's see, my Boker FR and S35 super soft heat treat on it. Either that or something was wrong with it because it, it, it couldn't hold an edge for nothing. Uh, let's check out this edge. Woo, snazzy. That's nice. That's a, that's a nice sharp edge right there. Very sharp. That's going to be fun to test. Um, and then my my Boker S Excalibur or whatever in S35, it, it was the the whole blade was warped. It like zigzagged. So they they've had a lot of problems in the past of uh, poor QC and you know some issues with the heat treats. But uh, hopefully I'm gonna test this one out. I'm gonna test it good. 
and hopefully they have corrected that because I tell you they work with some awesome designers now this is this is supposedly one of their in-house designs the G10 needs a little oil on you can see that white uh, I love the overall aesthetic they had a pretty cool slip joint that I liked a good bit but this one being that it's a locking blade I decided to go with it let's see just a quick behind the edge thickness on this bad boy <laughs> for any y'all who care 15 thousands nice there you go poker you got that high flat grind probably 15 right here well let's call it 16 that's good and up here in the front uh, it's so hard to do. 17 thousands up here in the front blade stock on it this is not a review I'm gonna do a full review 0.157 so it's chunky blade stock uh, I don't know what do y'all think let me know if you've if you've had any bokers uh, in this year any of the newer models let me know how yours have turned out um, how the heat treats are on them like you know if you've used it a good bit and you can tell you know all right let me rephrase that if you've sharpened it a few times because until you sharpen it it's kind of hard to tell somewhat so wait, is that numbered what is that number 84 I don't know if these are numbered but there you go so what do you think about this one does that give you a Winkler vibe to me it, it has that Winkler vibe in it but uh, <laughs> I like it overall so far and I will get on the testing of this one once I uh, get caught up. I got a bunch of stuff to that are that's coming up here soon. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.